All right, so the next morning came out and the two girls that jumped that fence over to here, they have clearly jumped back. This line is loose. That means they kind of snagged it when they jumped back. Um, not a great scenario because every time they jump that, they're midair and they don't get shocked. So it kind of, in some way, teaches them that they can jump it. Um, it was better that they jumped back than all of these guys trying to jump over here though. So uh, one of you guys suggested in the comments making the fence taller, which is uh, an option, but this is the standard height for temporary posts. So in order to make it taller, I would need to do custom posts, which I've thought about. But then if you do a custom post and you go to, let's say here, uh, you're probably gonna have to run another line. So that would be a four strand and three strands is pretty difficult in itself. Each one of these runs $100 plus your wire, plus your posts and all of these posts are five dollars a piece and i've got a couple hundred of them so it would be a big feat not undoable but a bit a big feat uh, monetarily and um, just setting it up every single time uh, to change that higher and more wires so it's kind of a balance with this uh, temporary fencing um, you know we can build build something to keep them in uh, but do you want to be moving that every single day to keep them in? So that's the balance we're trying to figure out right now. Typically with cattle guys, they will run one single wire and that keeps the cattle over on one side. But these buffalo are different. Uh, one of the biggest reasons why I love them is because when you push them, they push back. They just have a nature to really just buck the system <laughs> and uh, that's one of the biggest things reasons why I love them and it's one of the biggest pains right now keeping them on one side of the fence so there's no issues with them I've never had them um, not to say we will never but not just, I've never had any issues with them getting out of the exterior fences um, the exterior fences are uh, five strand high tensile they are taller you, we're using T posts instead of these, so you're you're taller, you're more strands, and it's a lot stronger. This interior fence is a different story, though. So, getting the right size pasture and the amount of time before the move is all what we're working on, trying to figure out the sweet spot. So, this is a half acre. They're getting ready to move on to another half acre. And we're doing these in daily moves and I'm gonna kind of probably see what I like about this at the end of the week if it starts to get to where they're jumping it again and it's getting to be a mess a nightmare we'll probably spread the pasture out so maybe do two to three to four acres and then move them every three to four days um, because I have been doing that with them uh, all spring in the middle of winter and that has worked out successfully the challenge is constricting that pack pasture and when they feel constricted they want to buck the system and jump so we'll see how uh tomorrow goes just open up the gate they'll come through. 